Welcome everyone, it's Evelyn from Twin Flames 3344. I have a Divine Mass and Twin Flame read in front of you on the table. I do have 12, all 12 signs put out as well for after that read. And I also did a meditation for you, which is really beautiful. You're gonna love what came up for me in the meditation today, which I'll get to first. It is October 22nd, 2019. And I'll get into the numbers as I get into the read. But first, in my meditation, and it actually made me cry. It was so beautiful. Um, I was first, the other day I told you I was seeing like an upside down pyramid, but with curved bottoms, um, like kind of scampering across the desert. And so today I was seeing something similar to that, the upside down V with curved edges, which is like a bell, but it's a very um, sharp point at the top. You know, it's, it's curved, but it's not wide like a bell. So it's a very narrow bell, like a kind of like a uh, a calla lily um, upside down. Okay, but I was seeing that shape, just like the upside down pyramid with the curved feet, um, scampering across the desert. But this time I saw the same shape, and then I saw another one. It was like somebody was was making marking a trail because you could go under them you know it was like marking a trail or a pathway to go so it was like kind of very romantic feeling and then all of a sudden it went into a million of them you know that ripple effect into energy streams all over the place and then and then it became so if you take that upside down bell and you turn it on its side it became a book and then it stood up and literally the pages were flapping together like seals would stand up and clap. They were giving me a standing ovation. So the seals clapped, giving a standing ovation. And then the seals came also up also for sealed with a kiss. And now there's this book standing up clapping. And then they cuffed me with the school of sacred sexuality cuffs. So they're like under arrest. They put my hands together like they're arresting me. And they put on the cuffs of the sacred sexuality of Isis and Mary Magdalene, and I cried. It was really beautiful. So this was, I, the message was for you guys. So then I saw Frosty put on a bit of weight. So it's like a big Frosty the Snowman in Christmas colors, the red and green, you know, very uh, masculine red and green with the, uh, you know, like evergreen green and a darker red, being the jolly old man rubbing his belly. When he sees you, he might melt into a puddle Please bring him back to life. <laughs> and that made me cry too. It was really, really beautiful. So I forgot to look up the seals, but you can look up the seals. Um, I wanted to look up the shape first to see what I was getting for the shape. And first I got the Verdurian alphabet, which is actually a fic fictitious alphabet. Um, it was the letter F, which was perfect because that's the lovers, number six. And then um, the closest thing I really found for it was the bell curve, which is the Gaussian graph in mathematics used to solve heat equations, diffusion equations, and standard deviations. You know, so it's like the top of the bell curve. You've all heard of the bell curve. The top is the peak, and then there's a standard deviation from side to side. So that came up. Um, I can't tell you how beautiful it was, though. It was like these little dancing bells all over the place. And then the streams of energies and then the, um, and then the ripple effect of the, the energy streams all over the place. And then the, you know, just this bell curve coming up is, is bringing up the energy streams and standard deviations. And then if something else comes up for you guys, let me know. Like if any of you guys, you know, your specialty is mathematics or anything like that but just getting the book standing up like the seal and then looks like a seal clapping. It was, I just can't, it always cracks me up how spirit gets to you the message they want you to see. And then the cuffing was just, that. I just, I just melted when they cuffed me. And then for the masculine too. So they may be a little bit self-conscious if they put on some weight, but they're being the jolly old man rubbing their bellies. Um, but when they see you, they might melt, you know, just like Frosty the Snowman would, into a puddle. Please bring him back to life. It was such a beautiful message. So then I looked up the bell, 
and this was from Dream. The first thing that came up was uh, dreamacus.com uh, for dream definitions. And the bell was coming up as the call to order, the command, the warning to be prepared. And then the Tibetan bell or the tilpu in Sanskrit is the ganta, the world of the senses as opposed to the diamond realm. It symbolizes the world of illusion typified by the bell's fleeting sound. The bell is also wisdom as opposed to law, the passive female element as opposed to the vajra, which is the active male element, the thunderbolt, expressed by sexual symbolism and also by wearing the gold ring or the vajra on the right hand and the silver ring on the left, the tilpu. So also it's the jewel on the, uh, the jewel, what they write on the bell, the, the Tibetan bell is in, in Sanskrit, it means the, also the jewel, the jewel on the lotus. And it's Om Mani Padme Aum. The abbreviation is Om Aum. And then it's also about womanhood and teachings and often used in ritual and magic. Um, can summon the dead with it and made of tin, iron, gold, copper, quicksilver. And on the base should be inscribed the name Tetra Grammaton. And above this is the names of the ruling spirits of the seven planets. And above them, Adonai. And on the holding ring, the name of Jesus. So I thought it was really beautiful how it was coming together. Um, and of course, bells with the universal power purification. But this just came from that one website. So you can certainly look up more definitions of the bell. But yeah, it was really beautiful. And I was just getting now the equal the distribution of the twins around the world as far as the bell curve. So there's something about that as well as the bell tolls. So I want to get right into this read because the read was very, um, it, it was, there's a lot and it's some very cool information came up there. All right. So it is October 22nd, 2019. 22 is the fool. It's also a four of stability, building, structure. And it's Tuesday, here anyway, in the U.S. And then um, the day adds up to 44.8, which is the Four of Cups, the grounding, mastering, and integrating, the offer of love. So we have the Fool and the Four of Cups. And the Fool is the one with the open heart taking that leap of faith, which is where we need to be. Um, forgive me, I was just out running, so I don't think I'm sweating anymore, but just... So, you know, I'm kind of a mess right now because I was just sweating and I think I've caught my breath by now, but just so you know, and I only slept, I think two hours. I fell asleep on the couch, which I never do. And um, I only slept for two hours, but I'm actually pretty good right now. So I was actually working on something creative. So I often get inspired at night when I should be going to bed and then I end up staying up late. All right, so. I'm, am I looking at the right one? Yes. Okay. So the masculine, the divine masculine twin flame read was done at 8.03 today. Eight is the strength. It's also the dance of the masculine and feminine within the single person. And then the three, of course, is the empress, the earth, mother earth, the three of joy, of coming together, of the smiley person, about just... Um, connecting with other people and being happy, celebrating. So the strength of the interconnection and the abundance and joy of the three of coming together and mother nature. So the masculine read today uh, we had the major arcana of the star which is right in the middle of the read Ascension, which is like the world, and shadow, which is like the devil. Before the read, we had the tower and transition, which is the herm is the death card. Excuse me. We had three pentacles, three wands, one cup, and one sword. So mostly pentacles and wands, which are all about practical things and action desires, and uh, and money related business things. And then the court cards. We had the queen of pentacles, the page of pentacles, and the knight of wands. And the Queen of Cups also came up before the read. The numbers and the code line today had to do with effort, personal growth, 
love, healing, and karmic completion for the Divine Masculine. And again, this is a general read. If it doesn't resonate with you, then it may resonate another day, but don't force it to fit your situation. There's a lot of you out there. And then also, um, it's for the Divine Masculine, but it's not for the man, it's for the Divine Masculine. So the Masculine within the Masculine, but also the Masculine within the Divine Feminine as well. So as, as in reference to effort, personal growth, love and healing, and karmic completion, uh, the numbers we had were, on the code line were 5, 68, which equaled 73. So 73 is the five of pentacles. So it's that card of abandonment, um, feeling homeless or left out in the cold, left behind or in exile. But the five of the Hierophant, the 68 of the, of the uh, page of pentacles. So the Hierophant and the page, very much, you know, the, the, the leader, whether it's church or establishment, however they're placed, and then the student of the 68 who wants to learn, wants an opportunity. So for the masculine, making an effort, personal growth, love, healing, karmic completion, the numbers that came up were 22, well, actually 11, 22, and 66. And so we had a lot of double numbers here. And also today's the 22nd, and the day adds up to 44 today. So we had all the power numbers out, except for 33. So 11, 22, and 44 came up. And power numbers in the book of numerology, the Divine Triangle, have to do with um, they require twice as much from you, but you get twice as much in return. We also had 6-6, six, six, though, and 12, the Hangman, 56, the Two of Swords, being in your knowing, came up, as well as 25, the Knight of Wands, which was significant in the read today, and then 68 again, the Page of Pentacles, also significant in the read today, and then the number 8 by itself, which is that dance within, and Strength. And it's also the higher realm of manifestation. Instead of the level four manifesting survival here on this planet, it's manifesting your dreams. Um, so the code line here, I was getting, yesterday we got the number 706 came up and today 506 came up and I forgot to look up the area code too. So you can look that up if you'd like. Um, but to say, say 506, working to align details on the first test. So there's a, a test here. Um, I also got, I looked up online real quick, Marlo 50 came up. It's a watch and jewelry experience. And I just, I just talked about, um, gems and rubies. So that was significant here because it didn't only come up here. It came up for somebody else as well that I heard or a friend I was talking to. So watch and jewelry experience came up here with Marlo 50 and also 50 with Hawaii also came up. Also... Drainer's Secret Power, which is Wowpedia, so that came up as a header. And then another header, which the only thing on the header line was dash dash one, or it actually was an I, but without the lines on the top and bottom. It was just I. And it was actually coming up from a military website, which was so weird, because it was in Pennsylvania, which is where I am. Um, it was from appsdtic.mil and the number was AD, which AD had been coming up constantly as after death in the coding. So AD came up again, and then the number 771, which is the 77 of the Sovereign and the 71 of the Three of Pentacles, the co-creation of coming together, which also came up. Yep, the Sovereign and the Three of Pentacles literally are at the end of the read together today. So that was significant, 771. And then 530 also came up with that number. And 53 is the Knight of Swords, but it's also the catapult. So something catapulting into or out of your life along with the zero, which is source backing it up. Um, and that was the, the, the paper that came up on this site was Span of Control, an Analysis of the Influencing Factors by John E. Rogers, who was a Lieutenant Colonel in the infantry. And it was Army War College from Carlisle Barracks, PA. And this was from March 9th, 1972, which I would have been about 10 years old. Uh, I think 10, yeah, distributed, and it was distributed by NTIS, and yesterday NT came up, and I really didn't look into the acronym, because um, I just used them separately, but then here it comes up, NT, NTIS, so NT is National Tech Information Service, U.S. Department of Commerce, 
and it was talking about the number of subordinates that are appropriate for, um, you know, the ratio. So, and here's the bell curve. What's the ratio of, of mentor to people under them? Uh, well, it's appropriate depending on what, what they're actually doing. So, um, and then, uh, let's see. And it was coming up, I just read one place real quick where it was saying five to six was appropriate for some versus others saying three to eight per, per leader or teacher or whatever it was. And then the numbers 5285 came up for an address for Port Royal Road. Oh my gosh, and I just remember that. And my father's, my father's address in, in France, because he grew up in France, was 88 Port Royal in France. I didn't notice this before when I wrote this down. But it's a, this is an address in Springfield, Virginia, 22151. Another header that came up was, let's see here. Oh, that, that was from Shippensburg State College Graduate Program in Business and U.S. Army um, College Student Research Program. Another header that came up was keeping your balance in you, in your second chakra. So it's keeping the balance in you.com. That was the website. The eight chakras, the sacral, the Sanskrit name, Svadasthana. Sorry, I'm probably not pronouncing it right, but it means sweetness. So the, the sacral chakra came up as sweetness. And the lower uh, um, abdomen symbol for it, a circle surrounded by five or six lotus petals. Uh, another header that came up was plants of the gods. All right, so now we have, we're talking about lotus already. We have the bell and the lotus on the bell, and then the plants of the gods, their sacred healing. And this was from uh, docshare.tips. Plants of, I'm not gonna say this is a long name, okay? It's Tanaecium nocturnum, okay? And I kind of had broken it down because I end up doing that with words a lot of the time anyway, but this kind of plant was being described as a climber with broadly elliptical leaves, um, five inches long, four inches wide, the white flowers, six inches long, um, are tubular, born in five to eight flowered raised Raisin maize. I don't know, the, the letters were running together so it was hard for me to, to get the words, but in three inches arising from the stem. The stem, when cut, emits an odor of almond oil. So I thought that was kind of interesting. Uh, all right, so back to the code line. The number 50 was also coming up with Hawaii 5 -0. so Hawaii was coming up, but say 50. 50 is the five supported by the source empowerment. You know, the, the zero is the human body, the human body encompassing source energy. So that backing up the five of the hierophant, but also the freedom, the change. And then the 68 also came up again, which is that page of pentacles. And 50 is the 10 of cups. That's that ultimate emotional fulfillment. And then the page of cups is the perpetual, or the page of pentacles, the perpetual student who's always examining that gold coin, the Christ consciousness. So say 50, 68, so the ultimate emotional fulfillment and the page of pentacles, the student of crystals, the first test, the accept, say freedom, say change, hierophant, Taurus, human lovers, Work to align for the first test, the accept. Say Hawaii, lovers work, the first test, the accept, and also the eight of the dance of the crystals. The divine masculine, divine feminine within. But it was only bringing up the single eights, but then I just brought up my father's address, Port Royal in Paris, which was eight eight. The masculine and feminine side by side doing the dance together. So for me, eight, eight upright side by side is the same as one eight horizontally or the infinity symbol. All right, so here we go. We have the queen of pentacles upright starting the read in the foundation. 
And I started reading this at 842 this morning. We also have the tower here, the queen of cups here, and then the, the transition or the death card underneath the queen of pentacles there. The queen of pentacles keeping a stiff upper lip in the aftermath of the Queen of Cups reversed death or transition or some kind of transformation or ending with her. Uh, dumping emotional attachments that no longer serve, healing dreams come true, destined to share with others or in an equitable relationship, surrendered and defenseless. The Queen of Wands Well, first the just justice comes up, so justice, the justice card, so divorce, justice, divorce, and or Libra energy there. With the King of Pentacles reversed, or loss of money or influence, and then the Queen of Wands was reversed, so her coming up pissed. The Queen of Wands and King of Pentacles looking toward each other, but both looking down and away from the other, so not really looking at each other. The Libra energy of the justice card was looking straight ahead and not looking at either one of them. The emperor reversed out of control or ego death with the gold coin floating. And I was getting the gold, gold medal winner because that's come up again for my dad because he was a gold medal winner. But the father uh, was coming up. So it was just refer referencing a father of status um, and offering a new life. The emperor reversed, a lot of negative energy here though. The emperor reversed was coming up as Scrooge, like they were the one holding back the money. It was like a group of people where the Emperor Reverse was the Scrooge and all about the money, hoarding cash underfoot and in bags, wanted to put, and the sack of money when I was, uh, I was working on some uh, cards and I actually saw a sack of money in the way I was working with the picture and I was going to leave that sack there and so that came up already and then the sack of money came up again here where somebody's hoarding cash or a sack of money. Maybe somebody might have buried a sack of money, uh, but that's definitely coming up here. Uh, a doctor at, or, and or a soldier, but someone of prominence was coming up here. Throne of stone platform with tributaries to and fro, lymph system, little gold coin and big gold coin. So there was definitely a teacher student or parent student type situation here partners splitting up, but the emperor reversed, hiding cash from the queen of wands reversed, the king of pentacles reversed, and Libra or judge in their pocket. Or the queen of pentacles offers a new life, money, and the emperor reversed is the small potatoes here compared to the queen of pentacles, or she is his daughter. Or it could be a sister, mother, aunt, anything like that. The page of cups is out being seen, offering love. Leo and or ego out of control, stuck to the ceiling, or making a lot of noise upstairs. Weak, recovering in need of courage, strength. Poor student in need of opportunity, money, or help, or a hand up. Or Leo and or ego out of control, opportunist, not really an angel, but maybe pretending to be. Or two kids recovering from being out of control, or recovering from an out of control Leo, or egotistical person, after they were left behind or out in the cold. So someone, someone might have locked their kids out because they were being bad or something like that. Or maybe they just have issues and they locked their kids out of the house. Page of Cups upright and the Page of Pentacles reversed. Release your ex was coming up for the Divine Masculine and beneath that was deception. So this was a clear message to the Divine Masculine that there's deception and to release your ex. Putting it out there, but on the line to be touched a dream family fantasy with bow and scythe ready, the grim reaper transitioning and going for the emperor reversed, who's mesmerized by a fantasy, not paying attention to trophy wife with all the light, jealous that his attention is elsewhere, cross-dresser with a cane and Abel with a bow, father's or divine masculine's brother aiming to take someone out. The emperor reversed with poor circulation and pomegranate or palm and granite tiles on the floor with paper hats and chalice, origami boats or fast food hat creations. Snakes, shield, put aside, in spa or sauna, fancy bathroom with pool shoes or slippers. 
Using Scythe, the Emperor Reverse cut off his twin to spite his heart, refusing to give or receive love. And that was at 9.19 this morning. 9 is the Hermit, 19 is the Sun. We also then had Completion from the Numerology deck and Perseverance, which are 9 and 4, the Hermit and the Emperor. So unhappy, never satisfied, drunk at the bar at night, broke, broken, broke down, breakdown, car issues or canceled move, move or trip. The drunk man and woman on the warpath with a negative past between them or difficult children or the past always returning, sunrise, sunset, swiftly through the years. Central sun aligning with Central sun aligning with the group and false, false man in the moon, trapped by the false light, the wicked witch of the west looking into her crystal ball again, or is it mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? Drinking at night, warpath at dawn, sneaky little critter up to no good again, like the gopher in Caddyshack, can't gain control of the little imp. Flowers in the attic came up again here, cat watcher, planning new life with new moon, Incest also coming up here and transgender, transsexual relations and possibly not telling other people and fallen hooters or an owl that thinks it's a bat wanting to hang out in the bat cave or wise old owl, not so wise, checking in on result of their ill deeds, suffering in silence, chronic stress, up nights crying. And I was just reminded with the word silence. I wanted to write this down and I forgot that before I went out for my run, I was just realizing how silent it was this morning. It was just really quiet and still. So that energy is very different. You know, just a few days ago, it was like crazy, stormy, windy constantly, like very aggressive outside. And today it was very quiet and still. Um, okay, so suffering in silence, chronic stress, up nights, possibly crying. Laser, security system, blue eyes, and angels everywhere trapped in the game room of illusion. Tricks that play with your eyes. Illusion, paintings on the wall leaving you spinning. House of mirrors, hall of horrors. Trapped in Alice in Wonderland with the scary queen of hearts that never shuts up. The king always covering for her. Negative past preventing new life or withholding time, money, and energy. Aries reversed, Libra times two, both upright here. Aquarius upright, Leo reversed, Scorpio upright, Cancer upright, and Cancer reversed with Scorpio in their chart, or Scorpio tendencies. All of those energies right here. Divine timing is here with full transformation, suffering in the sound of silence, the Queen of Pentacles withering away, offering, or it could be her practical life or her finances withering away, offering a brand new life, money or a loan, to the Page of Pentacles reversed and or the Knight of Cups reversed, jealous opportunist or poor student, or two kids in need of help and love, and to, com and to complete a cycle that's long overdue. Recently, for the Divine Masculine today, the Ascension card, the world cycle complete, the Queen of Pentacles has suffered enough, time to grab the world by the balls. The Knight of Wands reversed, player, along with the Magician Reverse, the High Priestess Reverse, and the Page of Wands Reverse, was coming up as a family of scammers, both parents and kids, user, insecure manipulator, pretend High Priestess, and uninspired um, child with temper tantrums, whether it's a child or adult, a poor sport, fell on face, fell from grace, lacking faith to start over in love and not settle this time, waited out, hanging out in limbo with new perspectives and finding wisdom. So wisdom's been coming up a lot today, too, with the owl. So 9 is the hermit, and 52 is the queen of swords. All right, so the foundation here is the page of pentacles reversed. In a breakup or without affection, so here we are with the page of pentacles as the seeker of crystals here. So in a breakup or without affection, stubborn, refusing to move or work, pushed to their emotional limits by a negative past or negative kids or the past returning, abundant family in disconnect, not seeing eye to eye, yet in their face, keeping to self, 
See no evil, feel no evil. Over loss, regret, guilt, shame, or finally letting go of the third baton after pulling everyone down with them, right? So when you're running the race, if you don't let go of the third baton, the other person goes down too, and then you're out of the race. Family with lots of money, but no affection. Break up, strike, or sit in, dumped, dumped, and instead of healing, pretending not to see so they don't have to deal with it. Getting over bad childhood or bad past or difficult kids or twin returning or other kind of past returns to haunt you. Centrally for the masculine is the star card, upright, shining bright, healing, dreams come true, Egyptian with microphone or music of the spheres, amplifying the queen of swords words, her truth. The knight of cups reversed, jealous, insincere, rejected, refusing to give or receive love, still being sneaky or forced to come clean, Divorce, judge, justice served, or Libra. The challenge being, the, the challenge being, and I went to write down the Eight of Pentacles, but it looked like SP and I was getting spaceships. So we may be dealing with um, spaceships coming in. And as I wrote that down, I was hearing airplanes above and they sounded like rocket ships. All right, so that's definite confirmation. That was at 10.03, which is the Wheel of Fortune and again, the Empress the abundance, the uh, Mother Earth, Gaia. Okay, and again, yesterday I was getting new reptilians, you know, within the Earth, that they were at the bottom of the sea with the whales birthing. So there's a lot of stuff coming together about ETs coming in now. Um, the, so again, the, and the, um, the uh, hybrids of the children, will, you know, you'll start seeing a lot of kids coming in with bigger eyes because they're hybrids of the ETs. So the challenge here for the masculine is the Eight of Pentacles upright. Working with Crystal, the Knight of Pentacles reversed, dark, I went to write dark horse, but it came up dark house. So dark house, and I was getting house the show as well. Dark horse, dead horse, cracking away, chipping away to find something or crack codes, creating, working out details, aligning with desires, holding back an announcement, biting your tongue, holding back from lashing out at others, tripping up into falling off the wagon on or into the wrong hands. The devil sucked the life out of him, but forced his hand to drop the sod and then break patterns, becoming patient angel. So because of, because of someone who was trying to trip them up or keep them under control, this time it didn't work. It worked not in their favor, but in the Divine Masculine's favor. So instead, this time, he drops facade, breaks patterns, and trips up to become the patient angel. The Queen of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles, with no sunshine between them, ain't no sunshine when he's gone. Drained, sick, or overexposed, lover's triangle, with breakup, or his sisters, or daughters, or girlfriends, or employees, drained by his escapades. No surprise, he says himself, what have I not done? Unable to sustain two women, whether lovers, kids, friends, or employees, or two sides of one person, speaks the truth and very stable, moving, ending marriage, or a big party, or going to stay with a friend or a relative for a visit or a break, in divorce with spiritual person outside the box, or break up with group or contract or religion or religious leader, or Taurus about to attack. The king of wands upright with big love at work or by the exposed logs or in the kitchen area, stubborn in awakening, refusing to wake up, head too big for their body, hard to hold, unhappy, unsatisfied, arrogant. And this was at 1017. That being the wheel of fortune and the star turning the page to 18, which is the moon or him just unhappy alone, offering a new life. The stage is set. Big transformation in death of home or marriage or move or just a visit. Now crowning the Knight of Wands reversed, burdened by third party, gossip, overindulgences, no social life, no joy. One minute, the Knight of Wands reversed, being tested, player holding back passion or falling short on energy or performance. And then the next minute, uh, back upright on his game, up and down, falling off, getting back on and making a clean getaway to heal and have dreams come true, shine his light after suffering in silence, chronic stress, PTSD. 
coming out, grounded, saving, holding on loosely, and being moderate, destined at the new moon transformation, the porridge in the middle, the one that's just right. Dark night rides out of deception, over dead bodies across the 4D rainbow bridge, destined breakup, defenseless in unstable home, and constantly drained by women all around him. The king of pentacles reversed with greed or loss of money and status, hanging in limbo post-war, divorce with Hierophant reversed or Taurus reversed, working it out, slowing down, expressing his feelings when he gets hurt, um, needs a hug or is, or is in pain, exchanging energy with twin now, the, the worst is over, a big love through work, unhappy in the disconnect. The king of swords reversed with third party, offering a new life. Soon for the masculine is the shadow or the devil reversed. Detoxing by offering a new life, the gold coin, the Christ consciousness, the payoff or big loan to make up for the unhappiness or dealing with punitive damages. The chariot in a bold move or travel to ascend and spread the word in angel versus devil, the angel has won. Sagittarius over Capricorn and Cancer over Taurus or boldly released news or of divorce or break in contract religion or Taurus reversed. Magician reversed, Taurus reversed, two of pentacles reversed, and queen of swords upright, insecure, manipulative, without their tools, Taurus split or left brothers, twin brothers, possibly outside the box, both without spine, brotherhood of BS, patriarchy, superiority complex, arrogance tripped them up, the red coats are no longer coming, says the queen of swords, speaking her truth and multiple perspectives, beating a dead horse. And if the head is, and if the horse is dead, if so, it doesn't hurt. So just having fun. Capricorn was coming up, up one upright, one reverse. So two Capricorns came up: a Sagittarius upright, a Cancer upright, a Taurus. Two different Tauruses, both reversed, came up. Virgo, Gemini, Aries, possibly reversed. King of Swords reversed, Emperor reversed. Fighting, still on a quest to heal and forgive. So the Hierophant reversed, the Magi, Magician reversed, and the Emperor reversed, right? They're coming up as the Red Coats reversed. The Justice was the only Red Kite, red kite. so Kites might be coming up, but might be the only Red Coat that was upright. So Justice was good. We have truth and balance here, but the Hierophant, Magician, and Emperor were falling here. And now we have 1043, which is the Wheel of Fortune and the, and the Three of Cups. And then 1044, which is the Four of Cups of Mastering, Grounding, and Integrating, starting over in love. The Divine Masculine is the Five of Cups reverse. That's how he's seeing himself today. So, But it's reversed. So, so over the past, walking away and within, from the Queen of Cups reversed, manipulation or his own crying. Good news, back in the saddle, leading the way to happiness and emotional fulfillment. Children, they're affecting your love life. Trust. Worth waiting for, new love and passion all came up for the masculine today. And around him, or how he's seen, is the Six of Wands upright, the journeyman, putting it out there. Or this could be the Queen of Wands reversed, either tired of the truth or putting out her truth as the Queen of Wands reversed, pissed off, to win. Always a competition, whereas up nights, stressed, crying, the sealed divine feminine in a higher timeline, moving to peace, leaving stress behind. The Queen of Wands choosing war, the Divine Feminine choosing peace. Clear blocks, Divine Masculines of the truth and victory, all right? It's not about competition. The choosing the left, the new, the Divine Feminine, is the Ace of Wands, the third energy, the growth, passion, and Heroes Gamos, the Heroes game, okay? That's all the game you need, what it's saying. It's saying don't play competition games. You have Heroes Gamos, the ultimate game. The King of Swords reversed and the Emperor reversed, struggling to heal and forgive. The Magician reversed and the Hierophant reversed are coming up as master manipulators. Effort, make an effort, personal growth for the masculine. The Love card came up, healing, karmic completion, but even more so, nature and happy ending. Okay, so again, the three of the Empress Abundance and Gaia are coming up. Time to rebalance and settle out and up. The King of Pentacles pays out debts to get out, 
No more chasing or superhero ways. Dark Knight offers a new life to visit or live with Twin Flame, perhaps. Detached from the King of Swords reversed and settle up with the King of Pentacles reversed, he's seeing himself, I am a Twin Flame. Expressing feelings, sharing energy, the King of Wands and King of Cups, non-judgmental. So it's like the King of Wands is coming up as someone who shares a lot of energy because they're the man of passion. And then the King of Cups coming up right beside them is non-judgmental or stops an announcement no longer necessary. The King of Swords reverse sets the stage for the gold coin transformation of Dark Knight going across the 4D Rainbow Bridge, moving into Union to settle up as the King of Pentacles reverse all four kings represented here at the end. No more lying or negative self-talk or greediness. Both twins mastering, which is why all four kings came up, inspiration and unconditional love. The man of passion and the man of non-judgment. Two sides to every story and then love is always in the middle. The king of swords reversed versus the king of pentacles reversed and the king of wands not facing the king of cups, but they're both upright and standing side by side. Reaping rewards, holding back an announcement or holding their tongue with the King of Swords reverse mother or abundance held over his head. Okay. So this was being held over the the King of Swords reverse head. So his mother or abundance, like he couldn't detach because otherwise he'd lose everything. That's coming up as that kind of energy. So it could be the mother, the empress, or it could be the partner, whoever, an aunt, a grandmother. So reaping rewards, holding back an announcement or holding tongue with the king of swords reversed, their mother or abundance held over his head. But now the worst is over. No need to surrender to her. Just need to free himself. Scales balanced, just dues. Now, since the three of eight, three aces in the deck are upright in this read, just need to work on the ace of cups. Overwhelmed, post-war, three nights until rising, no sleep, rising above, Release from anxiety and prison, sovereign co-creating and moving homes or visiting another's home. Or sovereign is moving to come work with the Divine Masculine. And that was at 1107, Justice and the Chariot. Okay. So then at 1108, the Queen of Pentacles. And eight, of course, is the dance again and also strength, inner and outer strength and high manifestation. The Queen of Pentacles come, could be a poor student or in need of help or just a hand up over lost regret and leading the way, putting it out there around the world, shining light, healing, challenged by aligning with the crystalline energy, the new human body, detoxing truth and triumph as the knight of wands holding back or falling short of twins, breaking patterns and sharing tears of joy. So this knight of wands reverse can definitely come up as the karmic energy. It's coming up the, um, Seeker of Crystals or the Page of Pentacles reversed is underneath the Aquarius card or the Star card and then the Knight of Wands reversed. So that can be two kids who are out of hand or can literally be an opportunist who's an Aquarius who's a player. The Queen of Pentacles in aftermath of the Queen of Cups reversed, death, transition or transformation, offers a settlement, a payoff, a loan or a new life or to Pisces, who is suffering in silence, offering something, a complete cycle of suffering. So they're, they're completing that cycle here. So the page is so someone who's been suffering really sick and has passed away, so they're not suffering anymore. That's one of the situations coming up here. Or any situation where they're suffering in silence, now it's coming full circle. The page of pentacles reversed in need of help to heal, reach dreams along with the knight of wands reversed. Kids could be falling short. Or like I said, an opportunist Aquarius who only wants fame and could be living through their kids vicariously and challenged by work because they don't want to work. The Divine Masculine is over it, walking away from the Queen of Cups reversed, done grieving or feeling guilt or shame to detox the shadow or doing shadow work. And that Queen of Cups reversed can just be his own um, sadness. He could be crying, you know. It's funny because my son will... It's, it's fun doing my son's cards because he gives me um, a lot of insight into the masculine. Putting it out there, leading the way, presenting truth to or as the twin flames, choosing path away from the knight of wands reversed, who's that player energy. So it could be the old way of the masculine or the knight of wands reversed is the karmic energy. And that's going on another path away from the twins who are now coming up together at the end here. Dropping the facade for a balanced relationship, 
overwhelmed, or tears of joy coming together to co-create while figuring out home situations or planned trips. So this was the read. So really beautiful today, especially with my, um, my message for you at the beginning of the read. I love that so much. All right, now I have the 12 signs, but I'm gonna show you all the cards from the read first. So there we have the Queen of Pentacles and the underlying energy. Recent past is the Ascension or World card. Underlying energy is that Seeker of Crystals. So I'll show you the clarification cards underneath there. There's a lot. Okay. Then the center of the read is the Star, challenged by the Eight of Crystals. The other underlying energy is up here. And then there's that Knight of Wands. He's reversed there, but right next to it in this deck, he's uh, it's, it's upright. So it's someone going back and forth in that energy. And then we scroll across here to the near future position, which is the shadow or the devil card there. The masculine scene himself is that five of cups, which is reversed, and the romance angel deck cards. And around them are how he's seen is the six of flames. And the blocks that he needs to clear, that's that actually the ace of orbs or swords. So you just can't see it because these cards are over it. We end up here with the two of flames, they are upright today, so that's definitely the twin flames, choosing their path. We have the surrender card there, the two of pentacles that was reversed. So it doesn't, it's, the, the message just came through already in the, uh, the read I just gave you, so you can re-listen to that if you want. But then we have the six of pentacles, which is upright and balanced, and then the ace of cups, which was the only ace that wasn't upright today. So it can just be overwhelmed or crying tears of joys, like I said. So there we go, we ended up there at the top with the four of Wands reverse, which is ending something or moving, or that your home, your home is your heart. All right, there could be some instability too. Obviously, if you haven't left a home yet and you're breaking up with someone, there's always going to be some instability there. So that's that's a given. All right, so now I put all the cards out for you guys already. I want to show you the underlying energies of the three decks first, and I'm still going to clarify with the mini deck now. So this underlying energy, this is like the um, temperance card. They call it art, but it's the number 14, and it's very much like the temperance card, but it's reversed. Okay, so there's some impatience here in the underlying energy, and then these two are upright. So the bottom of the deck was the emperor, because that's at the top of the fire sign. So fire signs of the emperor, earth has the wheel of fortune reversed, air has the five of pentacles upright, and then water has the moon reversed, okay? So air, earth, I'm sorry, fire, earth, air, and water in columns. So these are underlying energies. This is the fifth card, fourth, third, second, and this was the bottom of the deck, the emperor. And then um, we start here at Aries going across, and we end up here at Pisces, okay? So we're going to pick up everyone's cards so you'll see them all. The bottom of the deck for the Kipper deck was the Wealthy Man, okay, along with the Magician here at the bottom, okay? So this is very positive energy, but we also have Impatience with that Temperance card reversed. But he's manifesting, and he's wealthy, so it could be the same person, or it could be two different people, but there's definitely Impatience or Fallen Angel energy coming up around them, all right? So this could definitely be the same person, and he's thinking about a feminine, could be the divine feminine, with an empty house, okay, and distant horizons, okay, and the journey. So it's very much the masculine on his own, unless this is someone separate from him, and this could even be a friend, it could be a lawyer, it could be, you know, a financial advisor, it could be a father, anyone, or it could be him, okay. So that's coming up as the underlying energy, and it's interesting because at the end here, it comes up like each deck seems like it's explaining somebody different. Like one deck is explaining the karmic situation, the next deck is explaining the masculine situation, and the next deck explaining the divine feminine situation. So it's very interesting the way the summary cards came up today. So let's get right into... Make sure I have all my cards here. Okay, we're going to get right in with Aries here. I have to shuffle these, the mini deck first, okay? So we have the Rider Waite big deck and the mini deck, and then we have the Kipper deck and the Thoth deck. Okay, so these are the back of the three cards. This is Kipper and this is Thoth. So this is for Aries. 
Aries has, and all the fire signs have the emperor at the top. So Aries has the eight of wands reversed, unexpected income, and the hierophant reversed, okay? So definitely could be a divorce here. This could be any kind of break in contract or just thinking outside the box, spiritual, any kind of alternative practice or religion or spirituality. Let me just shuffle these mini deck cards real quick. So it is again October 22nd, the full energy. 2019 for everybody, everybody watching and the best and highest good of all this concern. What do we need to know? What do we need to learn? Let's clear all negative energies across all dimensions of time, space, matter, and realities and fill with beautiful divine love and diamond light. And diamond light's been coming through several times today as well. And so it is. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, and then this is going to be for Aries. So why does Aries have the Emperor at the top, the Hierophant reversed, unexpected money, and then the Eight of Wands reversed? And by the way, that um, unexpected money is number 27, which is the Ace of Wands. This is for Aries. Aries. Why does Aries have these cards? All right, a lot came out for Aries here. All right, so... This is news message spreading the word. It can be a child of stability, being moderate, grounding, saving, holding on loosely. The king of cups, who's upright. So this is beautiful energy here. Being unconditional love, a loving family man. Um, giving to others. Oh, look at that. This is gorgeous. Look at that. Beautiful, you guys. And this can have to do with children or your twin. But this is someone who's in their loving self, spreading the word, news or messages, or just out with their kids. But this looks more like a message. That he's, he's stabilized now. He's become his loving man, his unconditional love. He's out sharing with others and coming together with his twin. Or just out with his kids. But this, this is, for me, is twin energy. And then we have the Queen of Swords reversed negative self-talk he might just be a little bit worried about how she might react there so we have the, the emperor up top so he's in control um, maybe a little bit of a burden to change things up all right so we have the queen of swords reversed here and then we might have a burden to come from this to this or this could be another person who may be you know in the way okay so maybe be difficult to deal with and the Hierophant is a Taurus, too, so it could be a difficult Taurus to deal with, um, not exchanging communication, or there's delays in travel or communication here, or heated words. But I'm, not, I'm getting more, even though this looks outside the box and divorce and um, breakup and that kind of stuff, or breaking contracts, I'm not getting that it's negative at this point. It feels like the energies have settled. All this, this definitely can be a heated debate or just not expressing feelings at all, okay? Or like I said, delays in travel and communications and with um, Mercury retrograde in shadow, I guess, that's probably what the case is. All right, so that's for Aries. For Leo, those clarifications that came up though were beautiful for Aries. All right, so um, Knight of Swords is coming up reversed here for Leo. The Thief and Princess of Discs. So it's like the Page of Pentacles, but feminine. It could be a little bit older than a page. And this is, again, holding back announcements, or this is verbal abuse, too. Somebody needs to hold their tongue around this thief energy, perhaps. Or someone may, I'm just getting, someone may be getting a whipping. But this, ch this child energy is upright, so I'm not getting that. Maybe the child's being accused of being a thief, and they're not. She's upright here. This, this could be a child as well, though. So this could be a child who's really has a very bad potty mouth, just really abusive to other people. And maybe that's how they get... The, that's how the child gets them to give what give them what they want. All right, so that's why it's coming up a thief, and then it's just going to be difficult children that the emperor's taking care of. So let's see what's coming up. So it could just be two kids, 
Or it could be a mother screaming at the kid, but the kid hasn't really done anything wrong. So let's see. So Leo's coming up with the end of a family cycle, okay, or the end of a family or emotional cycle. Someone's feeling trapped, imprisoned, or in their anxieties because of, again, this is the divorce. So this could be connected to Aries. Um, it could just, it's definitely a break because we have these two cards here. So spirituality wouldn't really, you know, and thinking outside the box wouldn't really bring you to these two places. They wouldn't trap you, they'd free you. So this is more about a divorce or breaking contract or breaking commitment or leaving a church, anything like that, having felt trapped there. All right, with the devil. Okay, so we have a Taurus Capricorn here um, with Leo. And we have the Aries, the Aries with the Emperor at the top. So here the red coats are, but the Emperor's upright. This could just be a Capricorn person too. And this could be the person who's leaving this situation behind. Because it could just be a Capricorn. It doesn't have to be devil energy. Okay, but the devil energy could be regarding this energy here. So it could be a religious leader who's really bad, right? Who maybe has a hostage there, right? Maybe abusing a child because we have Leo energy coming up here with the kids. So it could be a parent who's abusive to the child, like keeping them in house arrest. Um, but, you know, here's the angel and devil energy, like somebody with an angel and a devil on either shoulder, just like Animal House. So that kind of energy is coming up here. So definitely could be issues with kids, or there's one parent who's got addiction issues, who's taking it out on the child. But someone might be stealing for sure here. And it doesn't have to be stealing something. It could be stealing their... I'm not getting stealing their heart at all. This is like stealing their... Um, their pride, stealing their humanity, their integrity away from them without a choice. So it's definitely like a, a child who who's kind of defenseless to the situation. All right, so let's see what's coming up for Sagittarius. So we have freeing from the situation where Leo was trapped here, Sag is free. And then we have a message, so the message may have freed them with the, from the Queen of Dis, okay, which is upright here. We also had the Queen of Discs up here for Aries, upright. But she was coming up, even though she was upright, she could have been that Taurus energy here that's reversed. So it just depends on your situation. She could definitely just be a Queen of Pentacles who's very nice. Or she could be the Taurus that's reversed, coming up as the Queen of Pentacles, upright. So why does um, Sagittarius have the Queen of Discs and the other energies with the message and released? All right, so this is someone who's weak or out of control Ego death as well. All right, this could be a king of wands. I'm getting, I'm not really getting out of control. It's more about exhausted or sick. Just so tired. Could be totally out of control too. He'd be like a maniac, but I'm not getting that energy from this column with the emperor upright. All right, it's more like just exhausted. Maybe exhausted dealing with this person out of control. All right, and this person needing to get his sovereignty or wanting to be with a sovereign or wanting to be single away from this energy and manifesting that reality. And this could be a masculine wanting to come together with his twin and manifesting and to get away from this energy. All right, so somebody might be already manifesting at nighttime. And trying to at night trying to clear any any loss that's still left, any grief, loss, regret, shame, guilt, anything like that, still holding on to that third baton, not letting go of the old to go forward to the new cups. Okay. So it's like needing the energy. This could be someone too, like is who's who's old and on their deathbed as well. And the masculine's getting out of the energy, now single, and manifesting. Um, but dealing with the grief on the way. It's like they're not letting the grief stop them from doing what they're doing. Or these are other people around them who are major manifesting. Well, this person's sick. And people grieving. Someone's passing. And this one could just, this person could too could just be grieving someone's passing. Because that's been coming up a lot this week. All right. 
So that's for Sagittarius. Somebody is still maybe a little sneaky or coming clean, but may have been forced into it, which is coming up. Here's the Emperor reversed. So it's upright at the top, but for Sagittarius now, it's coming up reversed. That could be someone definitely out of control, abuse of their power, or in, in ego death. Okay, separation, heartbreak. Okay, unable to work. All right, so we go to the earth column now. We have the wheel of fortune reversed. So for Taurus, we have the six of wands reversed, the child, and the wealth. And this is, I'm not getting so much a failure or um, it could be an attention whore type person. But I'm getting more keeping it under the radar that this child has so much money. So some a child may have inherited a lot of money, but they're too young to have it yet. And so someone's just keeping it hushed because they don't want people, you know, thieves around hovering trying to get something out of them. Or even trying someone trying to keep it away from the, a parent knowing who maybe has addiction issues, who they're worried may spend all the money if they know the child has it. Or maybe just totally out of that parent's control so they can't touch it. So let's see what comes up for Taurus. Why? Taurus. Okay, so Taurus has again the Queen of Pentacles, which came up with Aries and Sag. So the Queen of Pentacles connected to all of them. She was upright in all places, so it's generally a positive energy here. The Wheel of Fortune's reversed here and at the top of the column, so that's very, um, very connected to Taurus here. But this is about a, a deliberation, a poor judgment or bad decision that was already made. going forward so someone might be in fear of making another bad decision so they're holding things up not knowing what to do with their money perhaps um, but needing to choose a new path and then they do finally or this could be the, a masculine choosing the new the divine feminine the new path and this is their partner leaving behind and they're just kind of waiting for them to be okay with everything and this is definitely could be um, injustice on their part because they had to wait a long time because she was just wasn't getting it together and he was trying to be a nice person but it's injustice or definitely going through a divorce but this person's just taking their time uh, and just saying they don't want to make a bad decision but they're just making this person wait so something to do with this child maybe this person is trying to wait it out thinking that she'll have access to the money there's something about the child, or this person's acting like a child, or this person could be acting like a child, but the child is actually coming up as a female, so it's more like that energy. And this could be um, the, a divine masculine who wants to go to the feminine and just waiting for the karmic to, to do what needs to be done, whether it's signing paperwork, going forward with a divorce, whatever it is, or business, whatever it is. It's just not a bad person. It's just someone holding things up. Okay. So may, they may be waiting on some information or an announcement of some kind. So it could be this inheritance that maybe she wants to know what's happening with this child before she signs any paperwork. It could be too that the child is, this has been coming up in the past few months, a child who's gaining their sovereignty from their parents. They don't want them to be in charge of them anymore. And they actually, uh, there may have been a loophole where one parent, you know, gifted them money so that it wouldn't go to the other parent, that kind of thing. So maybe the other parent's trying to figure out how to get some money out of the situation. It's definitely a money situation there with a child. All right, so now we have Virgo with the Seven of Cups reversed, the Community, and then Ace of Swords upright. So this is about getting real, letting go of attachments that no longer serve you. Um, hopefully not 
you know, drinking at the bar all the time with the community. But the truth comes out here. It could be about just the truth setting you free too. Once you dumped all those things that were just weighing you down and just being free, even though, you know, he comes off as the, the boy in poverty, but he's found a community to hang with. You know, it's like cheers, you know? And there he can find the truth at least, someone who will tell him the truth, even if he's got no money. So let's see what's coming up for Virgo other than that. We have the Queen of Cups coming up there. The home or union. Um, keeping it under the radar. What was that one again? Yeah, so it's like getting real. Like uh, if, if masculines or feminines are coming in union under this, they're keeping it under the radar under the radar because there's still a lot of stuff going on. Like things aren't complete as far as the other relationships. So keeping it real, being realistic about things. But there is love here, family, home, keeping things under the radar, not uh, maybe someone's in need of attention as well. Uh, but walking away, going within some more until the King of Swords is upright and ready. And there's the Hermit shedding light on their situation. Okay. So, who may feel pushed to their emotional limits. And still seeing synchronicities everywhere. So, you know, it's this situation. Again, there could be um, still some depression after, in the aftermath. This is like the PTSD issues. Some loss of hope. Or this could be an Aquarius Scorpio energy who's who um, every time they see the, the sinks with the Divine Mass and they freak out. Okay. All right. Um, let's see what's going on for, and again, we have the Wheel of Fortune reversed for all three. So it's just like delays or a slowdown so that you have time to catch up and process things, you know, daily life things, 3D life things that you have to take care of with the retrograde coming in. And then we have Capricorn with death reversed, message of concern, and the hermit. So this could be after a death that's happened already or somebody who's near death. Could be clinging as well, but there's a message of concern in regards to or from the hermit, which may be slowing things down. Okay, so hermit can be Virgo. And then we have Scorpio here too. So what else is coming up for Capricorn? Why does Capricorn have a message uh, about death, transformation, transition issues, delayed, and the hermit isolating, being wise and staying in. Okay, so there's been a disconnect or breakup here. Um, someone's try counting their money or daydreaming about what they're going to do with what they do have left because not a ton of money, but they do have savings. Um, feeling stressed out, needing to purge, or just suffering in silence about it and trying to be present. Okay, So just going through some healing like that post-PTSD, post-war, post-death. There's a, a, definitely a message that came in here, though. Uh, maybe just uh, maybe a mass and still just needs to spend some time hermiting still. Right? Or that the masculine just is aware of the feminine is still and still has suffering or sleeplessness issues or himself, um, but present to it. But there's a there's definitely a breakup here, disconnect, not seeing eye to eye. But reaping the rewards of it, it's not as much as they would hope because they broke up with someone. Or it could just be not seeing eye to eye with anyone, really. It doesn't have to be your partner. But it definitely can be. And this is someone definitely wanting to start over again. Right? Going from here and deciding to start out small and study, see what you want to do with it. How you want to co-create, maybe create a new business here. So that's coming up for Capricorn. Just isolating right now, figuring out that one and do, message of concern, possibly about a death or somebody's near death, or just clinging and won't let go. 
Gemini is Three of Wands, Occupation, and the Ace of Cups reversed. So Gemini is also being present, so there may be a connection between Capricorn and Gemini. Um, I may have had to dump their occupation. They weren't in love with what they were doing. So they might have left, let it go. Or maybe love and, and their work were combined, but had to be let go. Or just overwhelmed by it, this work, this occupation. So all the air signs have that five of pentacles up top, which is feeling abandoned, left out in the cold, in exile from the group, the church, the community, whatever it is. So all the air signs are feeling left out right now. So Gemini has the angel, taking one step at a time, being patient. This is about feeling frustrated, creative, or sexual blocks. It has to do with the third energy and controlling it while not in union. And then finding peace with it. Being patient, one step at a time. It's all good. It's under wraps. Um, grounding and integrating an offer of love. Okay. So while this person is integrating, this person is finding peace. Okay. They, this person may still need to end things. May th go through a painful ending, betrayal, or having back pain issues, whatever it is. But just knowing you're not alone. We have the Queen the Queen of Wands reversed. We may be going through some difficult things still. Maybe them grounding and integrating an offer, or them waiting for someone else to accept their offer, and they could be getting pissed off here, or just exhausted, like on their deathbed as well. All right, so that could be a uh, world is incomplete, upside down, living in another world, for the Queen of Wands reverse. So it's, it's, it can be someone's really pissed, feeling they're betrayed, but it can, I'm getting more so is just like near death because they're so exhausted from going through this. It's coming up for Gemini, but we have a King of a King of Pentacles coming here soon. So hang in there. For Libra, we have the Five of Cups reversed, so getting over any loss, regret, guilt, shame, letting go of the third baton. We have the House and then the Emperor reversed. So the Emperor Reverse can be out of control and abuse of power, but it also can be ego death. Getting over himself. Okay. But they're feeling left out in the cold. You know, the Emperor's not used to feeling being feel he's not used to feeling left out, right? He's the boss. He's the one who oh, everyone always wants to be around. So why do we have these cards for Libra? Alright, so this could be Libra or it could be associated with Libra. The Queen of Wands reversed and the world upside down. And this can represent one person and, and where the cycle's not quite ended yet and they're either tired or pissed off. Or this can represent the Karmic and the Divine Feminine, the Seal Divine Feminine in another world. And she's either just really exhausted or pissed or ill. And then this could be somebody found floating in the pool too. I don't like to bring that up, but it just came up. So, But it could be just someone, you know, chilling out, laying in the pool doing nothing and the king of pentacles is doing all the work okay so this is coming up for libra so whether libra is the masculine or the feminine can be either way the king of pentacles has it all together but e this is either his alter ego here the wounded warrior like he has to put on a brave front but he may be feeling like this or dealing with this Empress reversed. And often this comes up as the mother of this one here. All right, so this one may be on her deathbed actually, okay? So there's a lot going on here. This is for Libra. So for the Mastin, it looks good. The King of Pentacles is upright, but he could be just putting up a front, you know, for work purposes, but he's actually the wounded warrior. Um, dealing with either a sick mother, this could be someone who's sick or ill, or someone who's had a miscarriage or an abortion recently, or some kind of surgery um, um, recovery, or it could be someone on their deathbed, or it could be somebody's, you know, a nasty woman here. 
So she could be defensive to him or him, her, but he's looking this way. This could just be him as well, though. But he, if this is him, he's ignoring her if she's a mean person. There's just a lot of negative energy around them. Sorry about that, Libra. So the, and the Empress Reverse, then we have the Queen of Cups there too. All right, so this could be, this person could be dealing with this person or this person or both. But this one's good and this one's good. Queen of Wands, not so much, and the Empress, not so much, okay? And that can def definitely represent the, the masculine and the feminine, the feminine being the Queen of Cups and the Karmic being the Queen of Wands. And he's in the middle dealing with this and this and possibly this too. All right, so then Aquarius, we have the Queen of Wands, but this Queen of Wands is upright, so it's different than the other one. Mature man for Aquarius, and then futility is reversed, which is like the Seven of Swords, right? So it's it's like a lost cause to try to fight getting caught. Like it's out, you can't really hide it anymore. We have the Queen of Wands, the mature man, and somebody coming clean or being a little sneaky, but it's definitely coming clean here. But somebody feeling left out in the cold or got kicked out or fired because they came clean about stealing, lying, or cheating. Ooh, that one. <laughs> wow. They don't usually go flying out like that, and she landed upright just like this. Queen of Cups. This is for Aquarius. And she came up separate from the pack. So she may be the one who feels like she's in exile. There's definitely Aquarius maybe being charitable or paying out, settling out things with their kids, or this could be your twin. The Queen of Swords is reversed. Could be This could be somebody bitching at you or yelling at the kids, or it could be someone just in negative self-talk or the silent treatment, and this feeling like they're burdened. This is a lot of physical burden. A lot of weight to carry. This could be, there's definitely lying, cheating, stealing going on here. And we have the cards coming up like this. This came out separate. But this would match this and this. And then this comes up separately from that. And this could be the Aquarius energy. So this could be someone who's being bitchy or it could be really abusive, verbally, or just giving someone the silent treatment. This could be the twins or the kids, because um, they feel very burdened, like they're pushing, you know, they're banging their head against the wall, not getting anywhere. So I'm not getting any major lying, cheating, stealing here. It could be lying, because we got the Queen of Swords reversed. She just could have lied and she got caught and now she she can't really defend herself. And so she's feeling the weight of that. It's like the weight changed, like the, the burdens used to be over here and now they're over here. That's coming up for Aquarius. Okay, so turn of fate for Aquarius there. And then we have judgment reversed too. All right, so we go to the water signs. We have the moon up top. Cancer has the world, the courthouse and the hangman. So hanging out and being wise, trying to see new perspectives, maybe hanging in limbo because you're waiting for word from the courthouse. But this is about completion, coming full circle. Could also be the seal divine feminine and going to get uh, papers, no matter what it is. It's, I'm not getting any real negative energies here, but we have the moon. So it could be some shadowy information. Maybe everything's not quite clear. There's some subconscious stuff coming up. But this looks very, you know, forthright and clear. But it's saying that the moon is there, is hovering over this. So it may not be what it seems, okay? So let's see what's coming up with Cancer, with the world and the courthouse and the hang, hanging, the hangman. So why do we have the world, the courthouse, and the hangman? Who got hung out to dry? Or is someone just hanging in limbo waiting for an answer? At the full moon or at night? What's up at the courthouse? All right, so we have the King of Pentacles reversed 
I mean, excuse me, the Knight of Pentacles reversed. This can be a lot of different things. It can be someone who just wants to be still or they refuse to work and they're being stubborn or they can be lazy as well, but also could be someone who's disabled so they can't work or um, it just needs, it doesn't need to work. So they're not working, but could still be seen as stubborn or lazy by other people, even though they're not being, they just have the right not to work. So, but it has to do with this lover situation. Okay. Could be someone disconnected from, from is breaking up from the family because they're breaking up with a lover. And so now there's a disconnect from this wealthy family. Uh, maybe in the breakup, they're not, they're refusing to work for them, but maybe they're leaving them in the lurch, right? Hung out to dry with the hangman. So it could be like that because of a breakup, they're leaving the family um, hung out to dry because of the breakup. They're going to courthouse for divorce issues, um, but it looks like they're coming full circle. It's becoming final. Um, they're getting all the information they need. Clarity, but this could be a strike as well, right? It could be child, a child who's on strike or separated from the family, right? There's no love loss there, no affection, but all the information is in. There's definitely a split there, whether it's children, employees, or a partnership. The, all the family they have is in. There's no affection here between them. This person's not working for them. I mean, whether they can or not isn't the issue. It's just, it's there's a split there. Everything's been exposed. All the information's out. However, the moon is there. Somebody may be protesting, you have everything you need, but this person may be waiting because they know that all is not seen. These people are unhappy. They're pressuring this person to get things done. But really, it's they're exposing all the information, but it's not all out there yet because we have the moon there. There's definitely arrogance here or unhappiness, lack of satisfaction. This could be kids energy or Leo. We've got Gemini over here too. This could be Virgo or any earth sign. Okay, and then the family. But the family's upright. That doesn't mean they're great people. It just means they look that way, right? All right, so for Cancer, we got Leo and Gemini. And Leo is dealing with a lot of kids stuff, so. And people, the adults dealing in this situation may be like, because they're so on edge with the situation, they may be taking it out on their kids. It's kind of what I'm getting. Somebody's at rest, maybe somebody's on, something's on strike and they, they wanna go back to work because they can't afford not to. Um, definitely getting that somebody is laid to rest as well. So there could be um, court issues with inheritance as well. So it's definitely people fighting. Scorpio has the Six of Cups reversed, gift and defeat. Okay. So it's saying to Scorpio, your defeat is a blessing in disguise here. All right. This could be a negative past, a negative childhood. It could be negative kids or friends, um, or it could be the past coming back with a gift of the Five of Swords, standing in their truth. Could be the truth is the gift because it sets you free. Now let's see what else comes up for um, Scorpio. Again, we have the moon on the top of water signs, so there's some shadowy stuff going on here. What's going on with Scorpio here? We have war, warlike energies here, are just adamantly standing in your truth. Someone feels in, in like they're anxious or in their head or literally in prison or feels like their hands are tied in leaving an institution perhaps, divorcing, thinking outside the box, but not kind of not being clear on what outside the box is yet, being more spiritual, feeling trapped. It's more about an institution or divorce or breaking contract or commitment or religion. Um, and there we go, the, the, um, the angel and the devil coming up again. So Scorpio might feel like they have an angel and a devil on each shoulder. 
There's Taurus, Capricorn, Sagittarius all here. And Cancer with the moon at the top. I'm getting that their negative past or childhood is coming up as them realizing the gift that it is now. Because they've, they've been going through a war within themselves, the angel and the devil, okay? And needing to learn how to release their own anxiety, release themselves from contracts, people, religions that don't serve them, knowing they don't, have, they don't know what's best for them, that Scorpio knows what's best for them. So don't let another institution or person or religion imprison you okay even if you look like the bad guy so what if you need to wave goodbye you need to wave goodbye if you need to wave hello wave hello okay we all have shadow and the devil it's okay let go of the anxiety about it okay even when you're frustrated just you're learning how to control your your sacral energy your life force Okay, and it's, we have the moon, but I'm not so worried about it with Scorpio because that's Scorpio's element. It's Cancer, but it's all about the water, shadowy side, and Scorpio is very in it, and we're going into Scorpio energy, so we're going their way. This is Scorpio finding peace. Scorpio will be moving to peace. They're frustrated. Maybe they want to know what's happening, and they don't know yet. They're moving to peace. There is definitely an offer coming up. Whether it's what the offer that you want or not, I guess that's to be determined. To be determined. Okay. Might have to deal with um, Queen of Wands is coming up too in this energy, so she may be pissed about something else. But you may have to deal with her. This could be a personal thing, or it could be you're dealing with a work thing. But this person who you have to deal with for work is having personal issues, so don't take it personally. All right, then we have Pisces with the chariot reverse, the mature woman, and the star. And even though the cards have been, you know, negative today, I mean, it's not all bad. But I want, I want to do them anyway for you guys, just so you know it's not you. It's everybody. It's just the energy right now. So just go with the flow. It'll be okay. It'll work itself out. Just be in your truth and be good to yourself. So Pisces has the chariot reverse, the mature woman, and the star. So this could be as simple as car issues or just feeling broke, right? Could be some kind of um, need to go to the ER or just having some kind of little, you know, little snafu there. I mean, this is really positive energy overall. We have the star, which could be Aquarius energy. We have Cancer here. Um, so Pisces can be could be one of potentially three people. And then we have cancer again at the top, but it's up right there. It's reversed here. So maybe um, Pisces is great, but challenged by this other energy here, or vice versa, where Pisces is in this energy, and this person is helping keeping keep them level because they're going because Pisces is dealing with a lot right now. This can be canceled trips, canceled moves. It can be, like I said, it can be any kind of broke, broken, being on the war path right? Or dealing with people on the warpath. But this person is coming off as a calming energy for you. It can even, be, you know, be your mother. Okay? Because you're in your mother's eyes, you're always the star. So let's see what comes up for Pisces. To be the star that you are. Pisces could just be feeling a lot of stress. And we're in the watery energies with the moon at the top, but either way, that's very shadowy and not they're unsure of what's coming. So it feels uncomfortable. All right, this is being present to maybe a new present, a gift of learning something new, studying the gold coin. Maybe an opportunity is coming for you, Pisces. Maybe you're present to something and you maybe you got the opportunity, you have it, but you're just nervous about it. Coming together for a new job. That's exciting. This is all positive. It's just new. So, you know, Pisces worried about falling on their face, falling from grace, lacking faith. Stop it. You're new. It's okay. It's all good. Okay? Worried about getting rejected. 
This is just all worry. You have an opportunity. You're present. You're doing great. You have this. Don't worry about this. Just enjoy yourself. This, there's a lot of kid energy here too, okay? Just It's like saying, it's just a game. Have fun with it. Just like you're on the playground, even if you're adults here. This can also be kids coming up, coming together for whatever it is. It could be a play as well. So it can be school or creative place or anywhere, really. But it's just saying, don't treat this as so serious, even if this is school. It's all just a game. Have fun with it. Just like if you were in a play, there's all different characters and there's all different storylines. Some will feel, some will be rejected and some will have good news. It's all part of the process. So even if you don't make it, that's fine. Just ground yourself and be present, save your money, be practical and be loved. And there may be someone in your life who's bringing this love to you. This could be this job. This, 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 this is a new job. It could be like, this could be where you meet your man too. It could be the ultimate job or where you meet somebody. Or this could be somebody around you too. Could be your parents. All right, because you're all kids coming up and then all of a sudden you have the King of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. That could be two people coming together. It could be Pisces or be somebody around them who are, who are sharing equally in an equal partnership. So if that's you, that's you. And if it's someone around you, someone, someone around you. But either way, this is beautiful energy. This is all worry in the middle. Look, we have this beautiful energy in the beginning and all this manifestation at the end. It's all perfect. So stop worrying. This is all just worry in the middle, okay? And then look what you have after that. Beautiful. So stop, Pisces. <laughs> the bottom of the deck is the worries, suffering in silence, crying, not sleeping, getting headaches at night, um, reaping rewards but not having a lot, worried that you won't, you know, you won't get a job in time or whatever it is you're dealing with right now, okay? This could be a breakup as well. Whether it's, it could be a breakup of anything. It could be a friend. It could be work. It could be a lover, whatever, family. But you have enough to, to survive on. You're okay. You're just worrying too much for no reason. So let go. You could, be, you could be crying because you broke up with someone or you're on the outs with a friend. Someone may have hung you out to dry. You may feel that way. Okay, it could be a friend. You may have had a fight. That's for everybody. But again, don't forget, we had impatience in the underlying energy, the wealthy man, and the magician. So stop being stressed out. You got the power here. So then for everybody here, these summary cards, these I pulled a lot because there's a lot of negative energies here. We had the Empress reversed, then Ruin reversed, which is good actually because that's the Ten of Swords. That means the worst is over. The Empress reversed, like I said, can be an ill person, sick, dying, or someone who's passed away even. Or it can be a major biatch, right? But the worst is over. The sun, this is still reversed. So that's drained. Kids who are draining or illness, okay? Which is draining. And then we have the knight of discs, which is the loyal servant. Offering help. Offering a way forward. With the moon. So we have the moon again coming up here so you know we're dealing with mercury retrograde coming up and we're going towards the we're well, where are we as far I guess we're kind of more mid-cycle between the new and full moons so it's more about just like the night time the night time is the issue here somebody's offering help though or maybe proposing something this is the Ace of Wands, the third energy, the frustrating energy, frustra sexual creative frustration, or just no growth, can't conceive of something um, that's possible. And then there's a magician who's, who is insecure, being manipulative because of that, or just feeling like they don't have the tools, they're literally lost their tools, and so they can't get started again. They want work, but under the moon, they're not sure what's available to them. There could be some frustration here, um, no inspiration, and then this is the insecurities are literally not having tools or not knowing what tools you need to get where you need to go. There's no valor, no standing up, feeling defenseless, 
And then here's the Queen of Wands, who's upright. And this could be all about the Queen of Wands, which it comes up as the karmic energy in this read. All right. Then we have this, the Kipper deck is very much about the masculine energy here. Because we ha here's the death that keeps coming up, whether it's a death of a person, a funeral service, um, the ending of a marriage, a relationship, a work, uh, anything, a friendship, whatever it is. But the case, it's like, I'm just getting now case closed. Somebody has expectations coming out of this on path, waiting patiently. And then there's a man around them who's concerned. because there's a false person involved here. Whether it's the man or the woman, he may be worried about who she's waiting for or what she's waiting for because they, he may know the truth about these people, one or the other. Or may there may be some, uh, there may be some questionable information about what happened here. Um, this could be just sadness because they had expectations about what died and they have it no longer. So where do I go from here? What's my path? And this could be their father concerned about how other people may take advantage of her. Okay. This definitely could be divine masculine energy, but it can be somebody's father as well. Somebody's boss. I feel like in this picture too, he feels like, like he feels guilty for what's happening. Like he feels like he could have done something to stop this. Like he knew, he should have known about this. Maybe he was too busy doing what he's doing, but it was just the path that was set. Maybe he's too busy with his money because he's the wealthy man. Fire sign is the devil reversed here, ending on this, so somebody Totally out of control in chaos or in detox at this point for fire signs. For earth, standing up for yourself without getting defensive or reacting, fending off others. Then the air signs, this is about lies, a split, divide, and cutting through the crap. Pull an Excalibur, right? If you need to use it, use it. Wield your, wield your truth, air signs feeling out in the cold, and here's the judgment. So final judgments coming through, announcements being made, the wake-up call to action, and it could be even playing, you know, Reveille or an instrument. The Red Cross could be called for an emergency as well there. Then we end up here with the Sovereign, which is beautiful here. Finding your independence, you're single, you have everything you need, you're in your full power. And then this, it goes to a good place. We have the King of Wands reversed, so he, like he's been coming up exhausted for the past month. The Wounded Warrior on his last leg, okay? So, and this came up in the cards somewhere there too, but it was with the King of Pentacles. So the King of Wands is the one who's the Wounded Warrior. He's exhausted. But he's moving to find peace, found a way to find peace though, which is great. This is like leading to surrender. Like he can't do anymore. He's going to have to give up. He's finding a place to go where it's peaceful without option. Okay, feeling like there's no options. But to end a family cycle or an emotional cycle. And accept a message or an offer of love. There you go. So that's a really beautiful ending here. And we have... Um, happy ending as one of the numerology cards today. So that's your happily ever after, after the message I gave to you before the read. So you'll have to listen to that again. Make sure you drink your water, get your rest as best you can, and don't get on yourself if you can't. It is what it is always in every moment. Just stay present, get outside, touch nature, and be good to yourself. Rise and be loved, guys. Bye.